what is it that keeps you coming back every day to continue working with David using this amazing substance? The fact that uh, every time we see a patient here, they have uh, the same pattern of story, right? To They have been um, in several times, 8, 10, 12 times uh, in rehabilitation centers, the most expensive rehabilitation centers in the States uh, or in Europe, and they don't actually, well, they keep relapsing and relapsing or they just quit their treatments uh, um, in the third, fourth, five days. And, uh, and here we are able to help this, this particular patient uh, that it is in this circumstance of addiction from the day one, you know, and, and the, the level of success here is super high. It's, uh, I, I don't think it is compared to any other center in the world. That's the truth. That's my truth. <laughs> about your, well, first of all, please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Francisco Aguirre. I am a general practitioner. I studied in Mexico and I have my medical practice here in Riviera Maya, Playa del Carmen. Excellent. So um, how do you know uh, Mr. Uh, David Dardashti? I was introduced with David through a friend who, uh, other physician who were working with David and um, well, like five years and a half ago, uh, he needs to move to Germany and he knew about my profile and my interests and um, well, he just uh, told me if I would, be, would work with David and uh, that's how I met him. Excellent. So what were your thoughts about Ibogaine that you heard? At the beginning, I, I, I didn't even knew the word. Ibogaine, even as a word, were new for me. I never heard about it, nor in the university or through my medical practice. Uh, the first time I heard the word, it was uh, when I met David. And it was the first time that I heard that it could it could be a tool, it could be a treatment for, uh, well, to help people with um, many diagnoses, maybe the most interesting diagnosis that, uh, um, that could be helped is the, the opioid disorders. Excellent. And so, addictions in general. Okay. So what was your first, um, your first interaction when you treated your first patient with, uh, with Ibogaine? Who was your first patient? What were they being treated for? Hmm. That's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I remember my first patient, but, but I do remember that at the beginning, as I was not really related with uh, how the Ibuain works, okay. um, I remember I, I tried to, to make my, my consultations uh, a little bit, um, I don't want to say far, but with some uh, space between uh, the Ibogaine, uh, with what David were doing, and my medical practice, because uh, in in med school they they teach you to to believe in only what what they are teaching you, right? Uh, David usually say that they keep us in the in the shoe box, and uh, it is it is it is kind of true. Uh, we do believe that the science is the only tool that did exist and, uh, and, and we are told what, what to do and what to, how to treat people. The reality is different. The reality is that, I, I mean, of course, science, uh, it's a very, very powerful tool, but it, will, it won't fit to evaluate 
all the kind of medicines that we have uh, to treat people, right? So, when did you get the, your first um, evidence to see that uh, you know this substance ibogaine really truly had the medicinal value um, to be able to see people come back from a uh, you know far far gone states? What did you see firsthand? Even I was not related with uh, the substance of the ibogaine. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that for for the patients who were suffering of opioid disorder or heroin using, um, the treatments that the medicine establish uh, to use with is uh, more opioids, right? Methadone or buprenorphine. Mm -hmm. Then. Um, the first patients that uh, that I observe directly, how they react in front of the Ibu, and it was very surprising. I mean, from the very very first patients that I observed, I knew it was something uh, I will say hidden uh, in the Ibu, and because I mean, for one reason, the medicine remains so far from this substance that actually work to help uh, not only patients with addictions, but many different kind of uh, diseases. And I mean, my first thought it was like, why we are not related with this medication, right? Okay. Not like other kind of uh, natural medicines uh, that we use a lot in, in Mexico, for example, right? From Savila to different kind of plants, why Ibugain it is so hidden from medical community. Okay. Through the years, uh, David uh, explained me that, of course, there is a reason, and the reason it is because it actually works, right? It actually heal the people. Okay. So when you say that you've seen it um, used to treat other things other than say opiate disorder or like drug addiction, what are some of the other ailments that you've seen this substance uh, help people with? Can you give us an example? I, I will answer like this. The thing is that the patients, when they come to be treated, they usually come with dif many, many different uh, other diagnoses, many other different diseases, right? Uh, I mean, the, the, the patient in circumstance with addiction as well as suffering of many other uh, diagnoses from depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, many other different diagnoses. Then once they were treated for addictions, it's, it's, a, it's a constant that I was able to observe how the patients improve in many other fields uh, about their health, right? I mean, David were treating this patient for uh, an opioid disorder, but at the same time, the, the sugar levels in blood drops into a normal limit, or the blood pressure comes lower, you know, into normal limits. They usually lose weight. They usually have, I, I don't know, many, many effects. Uh, have happening right then many of the the patients they actually stop their medications when they live here there is no need for them to continue with the medication for for other uh, diseases no? that's the case for example with many patients uh, that they are suffering of diabetes or high blood pressure or depression or anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder Excellent. So is it just like during the time frame that they're here or do they continue to be, um, you know, find relief from these, uh, these ailments once they leave here as well for, with, with longevity? Look, David, David's uh, team uh, ha have the chance to, to keep doing follow-ups with uh, most of the patients. Then uh, we know by certainty that uh, many patients, uh, they during the treatment here, they stop their medications and they actually, they don't have the need to continue. I remember clearly, for example, this patient that he was suffering from a peripheral neuropathy, you know, a chronic pain in the leg. 
and he had been seeing uh, neurologists and, and uh, pain doctors, pain specialist doctors, and uh, and I, he was taking many medications. That's actually how he came into this uh, cycle of uh, opioids. And when we t once we treat him, um, he actually read off the neuropathy. He didn't. He he just not only stopped the opioids, but as well uh, his chronic pain. That it was there for the last ten years of his life. Uh, it just disappeared. Right then, uh, I mean, I I really would like to to have the chance to to do more research. Uh, in this kind of patients, uh, but I mean, and, uh, uh, patients like this, I could tell you a hundred different stories, you know. Excellent. So, we'll win with this. What is it that keeps you coming back every day to continue working with David using this amazing substance? The fact that uh, every time we see a patient here, they have a the same pattern of story, right? To they have been um, in several times, eight, ten, twelve times uh, in rehabilitation centers, the most expensive rehabilitation centers in the states uh, or in Europe, and they don't actually. Well, they keep relapsing and relapsing, or they just quit their treatments. Uh, um, in the third, fourth, five days, and uh, and here we are able to help this this particular patient uh, that is in this circumstance of addiction from the day one, you know, and and the the level of success here is super high. It's uh, I, I don't think it is compared to any other center in the world. That's the truth. That's my truth. Excellent. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for your time, doctor, and uh, definitely gave us a really good perspective on uh, the beautiful substance called Ibogaine. Thank you.